Shalom, who pays the Albashim Yashar Bashim Kakudash? Who pays the Siyah Bashim Yashar Bashim Kakudash? More future prophecy being fulfilled, more divisions in America. Listen up. If you voted for and continue to support and stand behind the worthless, inept, and corrupt administration currently inhabiting the White House that is complicit in the death of our servicemen and women in Afghanistan, please take your business elsewhere. Yes, the U.S. public has long favored pulling out of Afghanistan, but the way Joe Biden did it blew up in his face. Now we've got Republicans saying that he abandoned Americans and made the country look weak, and that has intensified divisions in the country. Did you hear that? All right, intensified divisions within the country, within over there in Babylon the Great, and that's that's divisions. That's that's actually divisions. Okay, because of this whole Afghanistan situation, him pulling the troops out the way he did it, you know, you've got divisions in the country now. All right, you've got some diners that are banning Biden supporters from entering into, well, they're saying take your business elsewhere. All right, this is nothing but divisions in Babylon the Great. And you know what the scriptures say about division? The Lord said he came to bring divisions. Right? <clears throat> the Lord said divisions were going to be happening, man. And the scripture says that if Satan be divided against Satan, how then shall his kingdom stand? Any house that's divided in amongst itself will not stand. It's not going to be able for this kingdom to stand. So this kingdom done, it's going down. Overall, the White House is in a pretty weak spot. This is RT News, a little, you know, just a little quick impromptu here with RT News and that I just was watching the news live. And as soon as I heard divisions, I had to rewind it. I said, let me just do a quick video on this, man. You know, because this is prophecy being fulfilled. I ain't going to make this too long. Tree looking on in disapproval. Cable popping. RT, New York. Two senior members of the U.S. Libertarian Party we heard from say divisions in American society are diverting attention away from the really serious problems at the moment. There just aren't people that are united over anything these days. Uh, they're divided <laughs> over war. They're divided over response to the coronavirus. Uh, they're divided over the economy. The divisiveness in America causes people not to reflect on what really makes sense and instead to join in this blame game of right versus left, uh, which leads to no, which doesn't lead to actual illumination of the issues and, and, and thoughtful responses. And there you go, man. This is, um, you know, them divisions. It's causing more and more confusion, which is exactly what the elites want. All right? The elites want nothing but divisions and confusions because guess what? They want order up KO, man. Okay? <clears throat> look at that. Look at that placard. This is what Biden sided with terrorists. Come on, man. Look, at, <laughs> They're calling him a terrorist, man. <laughs> All right? So now what can come from this? Are you going to get extremists from this now? Are you going to get, like, you know, come on, bro, like, Terrorists on their own homegrown soil, which is how they can spin it. They can spin it that way, right? You can have extremists in their home, own homegrown soil that that believe that, or they can use they can use this situation to actually have terrorist attacks happen in their country, you know, based on these divisions, man. Which is all the web chaos, man. The more chaotic the situation, you know, they can sweep in and 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 take away more, you know, freedoms and rights from the people, man. Martial law. The troops are back, you know. The troops are back, so. What do you think the troops have been brought back for? There's a sword being sharpened. It's equal 21 and 9. All right, this is live, by the way. I just paused it. I'm a little bit, you know, as you can see 466 people watching. But I just wanted to just speak on that real quick. Hey, divisions of the people, man. Prophecy. Between the American people is just going to widen and widen and widen. And the possibility for civil dialogue between the two uh, is going to become harder and harder. Uh, and that's why it's crucial for those of us who don't fall into either one of those camps to make a point of pointing out how all of these politicians are wrong and how this was never supposed to be about Republican versus Democrat. The reality is this is the American people versus a very small handful of incredibly powerful people that run Washington, D.C. Oh, there you go. you got sedition among men. Okay, one people standing up to fight against another with swords in their hands. Second is just the 15th chapter comes to mind. What else? Second is just the 9th chapter. You know, when you read in the, the third verse or fourth verse, when they shall see earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. We've been having nothing but earthquakes. Look at Haiti, man. They got wasted. Over 2,000 people dead. Over 10,000 people injured. 
uproars of the people. You're seeing that. The civil dialogue is breaking down with the people in America. Nothing but divisions, man. All right, so we are in the, these prophecies are popping off, man. That's why we got to watch as well as pray. We got to be circumspect, redeem the time because the days are evil. That's just what it is. All right, civil unrest. All right, damn. So, hey, all praises to Yahweh, Shai. On to the next one, Shalom.